Here the SAT is going to work with your ability to uh, use the distributive property and understand how it works. So each of the following is equivalent to bleh, except. So we want to know which of these is not equal, right, except not equal to this based off of, you can see, the use of the distributive property. So we can go ahead and we would multiply this in uh, or multiply part of it in or something to see what would equal what. So let's look at A. C plus K over B. Well, what's being done there? Well, notice if we go ahead and multiply just the B in, if we keep the A on the outside, we multiply the 1 over B in. We're going to get BC over B, which is going to be C. And then we're going to get K divided by B, which is K over B. Notice this does not equal this because this whole over B thing just doesn't work at all. So A looks pretty good as a start. Notice B is exactly that, A, C plus K over B. So that works, right? We can get that. How about this? A over B times K plus B plus B, C. Well, notice they've just taken these two and they flipped them, which you can do, right? No problem flipping the order of addition here. So that's fine. That's the same thing. A, C plus A, K, B. What's going on here? Well, here they've distributed the whole thing in. Let's see what that looks like. So it's going to be A over B times B, C. The Bs are going to cancel. We're going to be left with A, C. And then a over B times K is just going to all come together to A, K over B. And notice that is choice D. So that's all good. Now how about E? E looks a bit weird. Well, let's see. I'm going to multiply A, B times everything. So I'm going to have A, B, C over B, right? Let's keep the Bs for a second. And then I'm going to have A, K over B. Again, keep everything together. Can't really cancel anything here. but And now if we add them, we just keep the denominator the same. We add the numerators. And then what do you know? This is E. So E works. So the best answer here is A. Now, one other thing you could do as well is just plug in numbers. Plug in a number for A, plug in a number for B, for C, and for K. Get an answer. Hopefully, it comes out neat. Plug all those numbers in here and see which one doesn't work. And you'll see that A doesn't equal the same thing. Now, that actually might take longer than doing it this way because, and also maybe some more opportunities for mistakes if you don't do the math right. But overall, it could be a good backup method. So number six is going to be A. Note this is part of the grid in section. So this is a number six, but it's going to be a uh, four out of five in difficulty because it's that multiple choice near the end of the grid in, right? Number six, seven, eight are usually hard questions. So just be careful about that. And this is an example of one that is hard. Um, all right, let's move on to the next video.